Hey guys, how are we doing? It is Martin Cliff here um, for a Tone Thursday, episode three. Uh, and in this one, uh, I thought we would look at microphones um, on guitar cabs and just their effect on tone. So what I've done is using my uh, trusty amp clamps um, that I use, uh, I've got four affordable dynamic mics um, and a couple of condensers as wild cards set up. So I've got um, the Audix i5 that's on there at the moment. Uh, then I've got a Shure SM57, a uh, Shure Beta 57, a Shure Beta 56, which is a slightly different form factor of microphone. And then I've got a um, Beta 181C and a Beta 98, um, which is a small kind of drum mic type thing, just out of curiosity. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to like the sound of best. I've been using the i5s for a while on my cab, uh, but always interested to try out different stuff. Um, the way the amp clamp works is it's basically I have a plate in the bottom of the cab and this slots into it. Um, and then depending on the type of microphone you either attach it by one of these strange side adapter things or just screw it into the top. Um, and then it's always in, in the same place. Now this is not positioned correctly at the moment, but what I'm gonna be doing is making sure that everything is in the right place and I've got the other camera on the cab so we can have a look. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use blue um, and I'm gonna just play a clean sound and an overdrive and sound on each type of microphone and then cut to the next one. So hope that's okay. Uh, so this again is the Audix i5. See if I can remember those riffs. So for overdrive, I'm just stepping on my Shiba drive from so on to the next mic. So next up, we have the trusty um, and perhaps a little long in the tooth Shure SM57. Um, again, in exactly the same place on the cone, um, and it just sounds a little like this. So next up is one of my wildcard mics, um, which is the uh, Shure Beta 98 AMP slash C, um, which is designed primarily as a Tom mic, but it's very small, very compact. I just thought it'd be interesting to hear how it responds to guitar. So mic number four is a um, Shure Beta 56A, which I primarily use for snare drum um, because it's got a sort of unique um, 
angle adjuster mic holder built into into the microphone itself. Um, I think essentially it is very similar to a Beta 57 and a Beta 58. Um, so yeah, I just um, again I'm not entirely sure it's in exactly the right place because it's a bit more difficult to position just by nature of its, its shape, but it's pretty close. Again, all I'm doing with the signal I'm getting from these microphones is literally just level matching them to get them all to be at, at the same point. Um, other than that, yeah, you're just hearing the sound it's coming straight off. Uh, so I'm playing straight in to the front of the amp or by the Sheba drive well, on the overdrive side, and I've got a timeline in the loop, and that's it. So in theory, this next microphone should sound exactly the same as the one before it. Um, it is the Beta 57A from Shure. Uh, so let's find out. Okay, so the sixth and final microphone in this shootout is the um, Beta 181C, which is it's a side address um, condenser mic with a cardioid capsule. You can get interchangeable capsules for these. Um, and again, it's not something I would normally use for guitar. It's normally my hi-hat and ride mic. Um, I have two of them. They're really good sounding. Or Live, I might use them for overheads um, because generally you don't need a hi hat or ride mic for overheads, uh, and they're much smaller than a big, large diaphragm clunky mic like a Beta 27. Um, so yeah, the, this is this is the, the final mic in the shootout, uh, and it sounds like this. So I hope this video has been of, of interest and of use to you. Um, you'll notice that all the mics uh, I've chosen have been either small diaphragm condensers or, or dynamic mics. Uh, I intentionally haven't gone for what I might use in the studio, so any large diaphragm condenser mics or um, ribbon microphones. I really like the uh, SE Electronics R1 ribbon microphones. Um, for recording guitar, um, but for live they're, they're awkward um, because of the nature of them being bi-directional figure eight um, and condensed mics are, are too sensitive um, for that and I'm looking at you know getting the best 
live guitar tone but through a PA and for live recording and also try and not spend too much money um, now the, the Stuart condensers are not overly cheap but they're really rugged and they're great multi-purpose microphones so they really give you flexibility so yeah I'm interested in hearing the results because I don't know what I will pick to be my favorite um, but yeah just it's one of those things so I hope that's been of interest until next time take care and I'll speak to you soon